So we're just going to have a look at one extra thing about forms. If they ask you that the splash field must use radio buttons to select the options yes or no, these values are to be stored as negative 1 for yes and 0 for no in the dispatched field. So if you want to put radio button into the splash field, this is what you would have to do. So in the previous video you saw that we put buttons in, we have drop down menus in the appropriate title and everything spaced correctly and the boxes have, boxes have been resized so that the data doesn't, um, so that the boxes aren't taking up more space than the data requires. But to make the splash tab radio buttons, this is what you would have to do. You go to view, design view. We would have to get rid of the splash here, so we're going to highlight it and delete it. But then put the radio buttons option or button in. So we're going to hover over this icon here. You'll see that it's called an option group. We'll click on it. Just drag it down. And now it's going to ask us some questions. So what are the label names for these radio buttons? So for example, we want yes and we want no for our radio buttons. So I'm going to type yes. And underneath that I'm going to type no. And then go next. Do we want a default option? We can just leave this. We can leave it as yes. It's fine. And now the values. The values for yes. Yes is negative 1. 0 is no. So yes is negative 1. And no is 0. And we click next. Where do we want to store this information? Well, the field we want to store it in is dispatched. Okay, that's according to the question. So the dispatch field must have the radio buttons. There we go, next. Um, we want it to be option buttons. These are radio buttons, that's what it look like. If you change it to check boxes, that's what it will come out as. But we're going to leave it as option buttons. There we go, next. And then the frame, frame 27 here. What is the caption for the group? Well, we're just going to put the field name. It's dispatched. Dispatched. And we say finish. And there we go. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to make some space here. We drag these d buttons down a bit. And I'm going to put this little box below here. Maybe try and enlarge it if possible. Let's see if we can. So I'll just leave it like this, and that's it. So if you go to view, form view, and there we go. Dispatch now has radio buttons.